Hey guys, so I came here to the park with my husband because he, you know, he wanted to go run and do his training, running and blah, blah, blah. And I was gonna walk and the park is insanely packed with people. Like, I don't, I can't even flip the camera over so that you guys could see, but it is insanely packed with people and it was hard to find a parking spot and it was like, everyone's playing soccer and like games and stuff so I was just kind of like this is this is too much I can't I can't do it um as we were driving over here I was you know expressing to him how I feel lately how I've been feeling super moody I haven't been feeling like myself um I don't know if it's like early onset of my PMS it could be I haven't checked the calendar yet <laughs> But all I know is that um, I'm feeling very anxious, like the baby stages of having an anxiety attack. And usually when I start getting like that, um, it's really important for me to be able to vent. Um, so I started talking to my hubby about, you know, just how I've been feeling. And, um, and of course, you know, I got emotional and he's, he, you know, he does his best. He does his best to try to understand where I'm coming from when I get emotional. Um, but sometimes he does get a little bit frustrated with that because he doesn't really know, he can't fix the situation. You know, it's not one of those things that you could just fix the situation um, without, <laughs> like in the blink of an eye, even though like I wish that, that that was something that you can do, like that is something that you could do is to be able to fix the situation and make things better. But unfortunately, that's not what you can do. So, um, it's just one of those things where, you know, he didn't really know, he didn't really know what to say. And, um, you know, I did my best to kind of express to him, like, how I've been feeling about different things, like the situation that we're in. And, and he didn't really know how to, um, how to deal with that. So that's like something that I have to come to peace with, like that I have to be able to say, okay, um, he doesn't know how to solve the situation and there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with him not being able to do so. Sorry, I had to move the camera because people just parked on either side of me. <laughs> Talk about having anxiety and then you have like fucking people like literally parking like on either side. So anyways, um, I'm just going to be one of those people where I have like the camera up in my face. I don't care. I, that's another thing is like, I want to, I want to be able to just not care what other people think. Like if I'm filming in public out and about. So anyways, um, so sorry if that sounded like I was like blabbing on. I just didn't really want to get too personal with like random people. So anyways, um, so he doesn't know, he didn't know how to deal and that's okay. So I basically just told him, I'm just going, ha I'm having a moment. I'm having a moment where I feel very anxiety. I'm having a moment where I feel like um, I'm just in a mood. It's just one of those things. I'm in a mood, I'm moody, I'm emotional, and I just feel anxious. So when we came here to the park and I saw all of these people out and about, I was like, there's no way I can walk. <laughs> even if I have my headphones on, even if I have my sunglasses on to kind of make me feel like I'm invisible, there's just no way. There's no way I can do that. So I told him, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm going to sit in the car. I may, Maybe I'll go out and find somewhere to sit on the grass, but there's fucking people everywhere. Like, everywhere. I mean, like, you could see <laughs> everywhere. So anyways, um, I told him I'm just going to sit in the truck. I'm going to sit in the truck. I'm going to film, maybe vent. Maybe that'll make me feel a little bit better. And that's what I'm doing. So, four minutes of just explaining that. Um, so anyways, now that now that I'm here with you guys and I've just opened up the space to kind of vent and just ramble, since that's usually what a lot of my videos are, is rambling. Um, I just want to tell you guys, like, I've been in a part of my life right now where I'm really dealing with just a lot of frustration um, I'm at that point where it's like we have a few months before we really start to house hunt and I feel like I start to freak out. I'm freaking out thinking, are we going to be able to afford buying a house? Can we do this? My husband and I don't make that much money. I mean, we're not, <laughs> we're, we're not considered, um, 
I don't even think we would be considered middle class. I think we're we're like on the low end, you know. And I don't I don't have a problem admitting that. Um, I really have been stressing over that. You know, we want to get a house. That's the goal. But if we can't, we're not staying here anymore. And here by here, I mean we're not staying with with my family anymore. Um, I think what ended up happening with my mood and what has caused me to feel the way that I feel is because earlier today, this morning, um, you know, my parents were sitting down to talk with their, um, realtor that is helping them sell my grandpa's home. And, um, he made a comment to my husband, you know, when are we going to get you guys a house? And my parents made pretty, pretty much like a backhanded joke. I guess you, they, to them, it's a joke. But they, it was very backhanded. It was very like slap in my face where they said, hopefully soon so you can get them out of here. You know, we want them out. And, and, and in, their, in their mindset, maybe they were joking. Maybe they were saying it in a joking manner. But for me, it didn't feel like a joke. It felt very hurtful. And I took it very personally. Um, I ended up leaving to go to work maybe 20 minutes after that comment was made. And I was really thinking about everything. <laughs> so I'm on the freeway driving to work and I'm really thinking, are we going to be able to get a house? And what kind of, what, what is it that we do? What, what are me and my husband doing to cause them to feel like they're, to, to make comments like that? Um, as you guys know, like I have always lived for the last two years, I have lived in pretty much rearranging my entire personality, my life. I live double life, you know. Um, I My personality is different when I'm at home versus when I'm like at work or when I'm with you guys. Um, I keep a lot of who I am and the things that I do a secret. Um, but I feel like what more do we have to do to make them feel like we're okay being there and I, I guess maybe what it comes down to is that they just want their own house again you know they don't want to have us living there which is fine I get it I want to move out more than probably they want us to leave <laughs> so when my mom and my dad made that, that comment it was very hurtful um I took it personally even though I told myself I shouldn't take this personally I'm not going to take it personally I did um and I did let it get to me and it did ruin my 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 day <laughs> So all of those things that I try to preach to you guys about being positive and stuff, I was really tested with that today. And um, and it pretty much came out <laughs> where I was weak. Um, I came out weak in the end. So that is where I'm at right now. I'm where I'm at right now. I'm frustrated with the fact that I don't know if we're going to be able to afford a house. It's, frick, it's fucking expensive in Southern California for one thing. Um... And then I think, you know, I, I'm working part-time because I want to be able to really devote a lot of my time to TCM. TCM meaning the cackling moon. Um, but then at the same time, I feel like, you know, the cackling moon doesn't bring in as much money as I, the money I need. And I'm not bringing in that money right now, obviously, because I'm living in a household where I can't do TCM freely. I can't be open about it. So I'm limited, you know? So it's like I, I'm hitting walls everywhere I go, you guys. And it's very, very frustrating and it's very limiting. Um so I, I'm it is it sucks. It does. It really sucks. And I you know and today I was really thinking like how bad do I want to do all of this, you know? And if I'm not doing TCM Am I just going to go off and t do another full-time job and be unhappy? You know, TCM makes me happy. But at the same time, like, I have to think in terms of how are me and my hubby going to survive, you know? Um, so it's just, it's frustrating. And I hate stressing over money. I hate stressing over, like, the future. Those are, like, the things I'm always telling my clients, you know? And I learn so much through you guys through my clients I learned through so much through you guys of like your readings and things that come through it it speaks to my soul too but I just feel like there's times where I do ask myself um 
Are we going to be okay? Like, are we going to be okay? Are we going to be able to, to do the things that we need to do? Are we going to be able to find a house and move out and do all of the things that we wanted, that we dream about doing? And is TCM going to be a part of that? So as far as I'm concerned, I'm going to do my best to make sure that everything does happen in the way that we want it. My husband says, if we can't afford a house when we start to house hunt, then we're going to go back to renting. And if that means going back into renting an apartment until the market drops or we put away a little bit extra more money to be able to do it or whatever, um, then we'll do it. But he says pretty much our time being spent staying at the house with my parents is 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 pretty much going to be over like it's not going to be much much longer so we're waiting right now to see to find out basically if my husband is going to be going into the law enforcement um his background is like almost done so when we find out with that that's going to literally open up the possible pathways that we take so as we wait for that which we probably won't find out till maybe October at the latest um, it's kind of like we just we're literally in fucking sitting stagnant motion and the stagnancy of it is very stressful it's very fucking stressful and I think that's why I feel the way that I feel so anyways, I just wanted to get on here and ramble and vent. I might get on here and do another video about a whole different topic. But I just wanted to vent and thank you guys for listening to me. Um, it feels better. I feel better. I feel better. I feel like talking and just venting has kind of like decreased the anxiety. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, bye guys.